What's up guys? Welcome to a new video on Assassin's Creed Mirage. Today I am throwing together this quick little video just to show you guys how to dis disable uh, the chromatic aberration effect in the game on the PC version. For those of you who don't know what chromatic aberration is, it's basically this effect that is supposed to simulate something that happens with real camera lenses where the um, like edges of objects look like they have a sort of reddish bluish outline to them. Um, and you know, this is kind of a thing like with motion blur, depth of field, where it's pretty much just down to personal taste whether or not you like it. But um, unfortunately, in this game, they do not have the option in the graphics settings to turn it off. So if you check in the graphics options, nothing about chromatic aberration under processing, which is where it would belong. So that's unfortunate um, for those of us who don't like it. As you can see, it's this kind of, in my opinion, distasteful discoloring of the edges of the objects here um, so I'm going to show you how to fix that and once you've exited out of the game you're going to go ahead and check the links I put in the description of the video this is the reddit page where I got this fix from so all credit goes to this guy or to whoever he got the fix from um, I'm just saying it's not my idea um, I can pull it straight from this post here so the thing you're going to need to download here is called hxd it's a hex editor and you don't need to know too much about this kind of stuff to make it work basically go to this link um, once you're here you're gonna go ahead and download go to the download page for whichever you know your system once you're on the download page go ahead and scroll down choose the English language you want in my case English download per HTTPS it's gonna go ahead and download the file go ahead and right click that show in folder and then we're going to go ahead and extract the folder like so right click and click extract all and then you can go ahead and go into the setup folder double click the exe it's going to run you through the application installation process and I'm going to go ahead and click continue and don't worry this is a completely safe program it doesn't have a virus in it or anything so if your antivirus is flagging it you can go ahead and uh, make an exception for the file or just turn off your antivirus while installing it if it's preventing you from installing the program i'm going to go ahead and click have uh, launch xh or hxd hex editor checked click finish and it's going to bring it up right here okay next you're going to go ahead and click on file in the top left corner click on open you're going to click on the ac mirage.exe or AC Mirage underscore plus dot exe, depending on which version of the game you're running. If you're playing it through uh, Ubisoft Plus, then you would want to do the one that says plus. But I just have the regular version of the game, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this. Um, the installation path is probably going to vary, but basically it's going to be under your Ubisoft folder, usually under program files or some such. Mine is on an external drive, and so that's why my path here looks a little bit different. But you're going to go ahead and open this in the HXD editor once you have that open you're going to go ahead and click on search and then click on replace you're going to click on the tab that says hex values and you're going to enter this value for the search for field i'll go ahead and include this um, hex value in the description so you can copy and paste it if you like and you what you want to replace it with is the same thing um, but instead of saying two zeros there at the towards the middle we're going to put zero one Make sure your search direction is checked as all, and then click replace all. And it, said, it should say replace one occurrences of that value. Go ahead and click OK. And then you can click file and save, or just hit Control S on your keyboard. It'll go ahead and create a backup, save it, blah, blah, blah. Cool, we're good to go. And that is the fix. Now if we launch the game and load in, We can now see that the chromatic aberration effect, effect has been removed, um, which is, again, that's my preference. I feel like the chromatic aberration, especially the way they implemented it in this game, uh, by default is a little overbearing and it makes the whole image look kind of blurry and muddy. So I don't prefer it, and that's why I went to the efforts to figure out how to disable it, and that's why I'm sharing it with you guys in case some of you also prefer to have it turned off. If you found the video helpful, please let me know in the comments, and if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to subscribe, like the video, it helps me out a ton, and I plan to be making more videos like this in the future regarding Assassin's Creed Mirage. 
Thanks for watching and catch you guys next time.